Hey, this is Jeff Komar with Avid Pro Audio. In this module, I want to take a look at a sound design workflow taking advantage of a number of the new features of Pro Tools 10. So let's get started. On the timeline, I've got a simple sound effect. It's a pinball bumper. Let's uh, listen to this real quick. I'm going to use a number of different audio sweep processes and some other tools to really sculpt and shape and transform this simple sound effect. The first thing you notice is I have multiple audio suite plugins open at the same time. I can have an array of tools open for sound design, for leveling, for dialogue work, um, and you can set those up with window configurations as well. So I've got a crystallizer plugin here from Sound Toys, and I want to play with the pitch a little bit and kind of mangle this, this audio file. So let's uh, listen to this for a second here. So I'm actually going to come up to the plugin and choose to render individual files and create clip by clip. And in doing so, I can now take advantage of Audio Suite handles. Now, I can actually come in here and enter a number. In this case, I'm going to do six seconds at the top and the tail of the clip. So when I hit render and we listen to this, I can actually pull this out six seconds so I can get that back part. So now that we've got that, let's uh, talk about clip based gain a little bit. In the bottom left hand corner, I have a fader that allows me to scale any clip non-destructively. For simple trimming, I can simply come in here and, and change the, the fader position and trim that clip. But I can also do something more complex. I can grab the pencil tool and I can literally come in here and draw the envelope of the audio. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to de-accentuate those and I'm going to accentuate this back section of the clip. Let's see what that sounds like. I really like the back half of this clip. Now, as we're working, I can also take advantage of elastic audio. And um, I've got this track in Vera speed mode. So if I come into the TCE factor, I'm going to try 120%. It's going to slow down the clip and it's going to stretch the clip at the same time. Let's add some ambience. Let's do some trims. I'm going to add some fades. Now, all the fades in Pro Tools 10 now are real-time fades, and that means I don't have to wait for it to render. It doesn't take up any disk space. When I grab the fade to move it, it is real-time dynamic, uh, and it's instantaneous. So now, if I want to add some ambience from this piano verb, for example, I can come in, and I can choose handle length, and my real-time fades are actually going to be preserved in this case. I'm going to hit render, and let's listen to that. <laughs> So let's swap out the crystallizer for a simple EQ. And I'm going to bring up a pretty drastic shape just so we can hear the difference here. And um, I'm going to select the clip. I'm going to choose two second handles and I'm going to hit render. So let's listen to that. Now, maybe I want to slow this down a little bit more and I can do so as I'm working with the elastic properties. <laughs> Right, it's all fluid, it's all dynamic. Now the fades can be moved, the gain can be trimmed. I'm actually gonna focus on the back chunk of this clip. And uh, I'm gonna render one more process in here. I'm gonna make a selection and I'm gonna bring up Verify. This emulates essentially tapes, speed ups, and slowdowns. I'm actually gonna fit the process to the selection length, which I have it fit to. I'm gonna speed up and I'm gonna turn the fades off and I'm gonna render that. That's pretty cool, but I want to draw less attention to this first clip. I can simply scale that down with clip-based gain. So Pro Tools 10 is an amazing environment for sound design. Not only do you have real-time fades, you have dynamic clip-based gain. You can have multiple audio suite windows open simultaneously. You can process with handles. You can preserve the real-time fades and the metadata while you do your processes. Pro Tools 10 allows you to be more creative by enabling greater flexibility when manipulating audio elements in production.